So the question that you may be asking yourself is, how do I actually pull all this stuff together? How is it actually built? So what you'll notice now is that I have um, what we call our Walk Me Editor. And you'll see that I've got a different browser extension on the top. So your Walk Me Editor is something that you'll expose to your administrators, your power users, your consulting organizations you work with. So they can make changes um, um, within the walkthroughs and, and, and do all the build um, uh, um, of the processes itself. And what you can see here um, is this is all the different types of applications that I can deploy. So you can see walkthroughs, I've got launches, resources, search, help desk, onboarding, there's chat functionality, shuttles, smart tips, shout outs, and surveys. So there's a bunch of different types um, of guidance and engagement elements that you can put across an HTML-based site. What you can also do is you can segment these into different users. So you you might have different functionality exposed in um, Salesforce for your managers, say like forecasting or approvals as an example, that you may not show your employees. So how do I make sure that I'm providing my managers with um, uh, help, guidance, and engagement on the elements of Salesforce that is, ma that is made available to them without their employees seeing it. So we can segment our users very easily. So what I might do just for the purpose of a demonstration is show you quickly how I can create a contact. And I'm just going to build a two-step process just to show you how I map this out. So you'll notice here that I've got a WYSIWYG editor. Um, and we'll just go back to that again. Again, it was a little bit quick. So we've got a WYSIWYG editor, and what you can see is I've got all these different options available to me. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select Step. And you can see that what I can do now is I can toggle between selecting an element and navigating. If I go back to selecting an element, you can see that all the HTML elements on the page are now available for me to choose. So since we're creating a contact, I'll go up to Contacts, I'll select contact, and what you can see now is that I can put text, um, I can uh, uh, choose where I want to have the balloon displayed, and then what I can do is I can uh, determine how I want to be progressed to the next step. So in this instance, uh, is when I click on contacts, con contacts, it'll move to the next step. So with that, I'll hit next step, and then you'll notice I'll hit tab, so I'll uh, toggle back to navigate. We'll click into contacts, and then I'll hit tab, and I'll navigate to select the element. And just for the sake of the demonstration, I'll, I'll hit done. Now within the editor, what you can see is I've built these two steps. And from there, what I can do is I can add more steps. I can start putting a lot of different types of actions in there. Um, things like how quickly page loads, um, rules around what, if, and, and, and statements. And there's a lot of other different variables that we can put into place. But one of the great things what we can do is we can actually play this back. So um, in terms of testing it. So you can see, you'll notice the box um, appeared around click the contacts. And that's exactly what's happened here. So I'll hit that. And then you'll notice the box moves on to click next. And those are the two things that I mapped out. So at this stage, really what I'd be doing is, I guess, mapping out a skeleton of a process. And it's relatively straightforward to be able to do that. If I go back um, and show you how I created that quote, so I talked about that being a little bit more of a complex um, process. You can see down here it takes into consideration all the different branching and variations um, depending on where a user starts, um, what credentials are already in place, um, and, and making sure that we drive them effectively through that process. And the great thing about um, these forms here um, is that they are something that you can print out as a PDF um, and they become a, a, a part of your user guides. So I've seen a lot of our customers have these put up on the walls um, and they look at their they look at their processes around how can they drive improvements um, in line with the uh, analytics that they're getting out of WalkMe as well.